Hello, my name is Prime Thor, and welcome to another video of mine. So today, let me ask you, what free-to-play game have you heard of that has done anything what Halo Infinite has said in their video? I assume there won't be any, because one, Halo Infinite has now set the standard for how to free-to-play multiplayer shooters should be, and let me explain you why. So, the first thing is the Battle Pass. As they stated in this video, the Battle Pass is just basically like how they do in MCC. So each season, they release a Battle Pass with various content of items and cosmetic items as well. And what you can do is buy that battle pass, but if you're not in time to get that battle pass, the battle pass will still stay there, and you'll be able to complete it later on down the line, which is the first thing that should be always implemented in games. I feel like with that alone, that has set the sand for a free-to-play multiplayer shooter should be. And any game, like Warzone, Battlefield 2042, probably the next Call of Duty, those games should be looking at what Halo has been doing for so long since they did MCC when they first did the Battle Pass implementation into the game. They should have looked at that and implemented it into their games. Because one, a lot of players will love that, and two, it just makes players want to come back for more and know that if they buy the Battle Pass, it's not going to be a limited time content like they always are. It has changed. Two, the next thing I should talk about for how this game has set the standard for how free-to-play multiplayer should be is the constant support from a AAA studio that knows what they're doing. 3 for 3 in the past, from Halo 4 to Halo 5, they haven't really had a great reputation for the Halo community of how they design the game and the choices they've done. But with Halo Infinite, it seems like they have done the right choices for a game. So, if you didn't know, in Halo, Halo 5, there is going to be a armor core that you can use the Halo 5 armor style. There's going to be a Halo Reach armor core. There's going to be a Halo 3 armor core. And so on and so forth. I feel that it's awesome to please any side of the Halo community to what they want and to what they want to see. And of course... The next thing is the weapon sandbox and how the weapons are going to be portrayed and also the vehicles. I feel like Halo, in my personal opinion, has the best weapon sandbox multiplayer of any other game in the history of video games being released. From Halo 1 to Halo 2 to Halo 3 to Halo 4 to Halo 3 ODST to Halo 5. And of course, you know, Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2, and of course the little games like Spartan Strike, and Spartan Strike 2, and then the arcade game like Fireteam Raven, which obviously was implemented in to MCC, which is cool. And I feel with all that cosmetics and all that stuff, this game will be the most customizable game you can play from the way you customize your armor, like I stated before to the colors, to the way you customize your vehicles, because they did state that you can customize your vehicles to how you want them. And I'm, and I'm personally very excited for that, because I want to customize my Warhog, or my Scorpion, or my Ghost, or my Banshee, etc., to how I want it to be. I, it's cool that, yes, you can play with these, these vehicles, and you can see how they are, and everyone can see this, but it's also very cool to see how everyone else has customized their vehicles to the skins to probably hopefully how it looks if they implement that. And of course, with the customization, they did reveal that the, there's going to be no more red and blue color scheme for multiplayer. Everyone's going to have their own individual colors, which is cool. I know some people, uh, like Hidden Xperia, uh, that the who I can think of off the top of my head is having some fear of no red and blue multiplayer. Um, as you can see from games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, this is the biggest example I think is that, and of course, Black Ops, basically the general Call of Duty franchise, is that it doesn't matter the skin color of the person. 
in the sense of what colors they're wearing. It matters if they have a red icon over their head or a blue icon. Of course, with games like SWAT and Hardcore and stuff like that, yeah, it's going to be kind of an issue, but guess what? We get over it, we move on, and I'm glad that we can finally express how our Spartans look in-game. And, of course, the fourth, uh, the fourth example I have is basically the maps. The maps are going to be awesome. They look, as of what they revealed so far, they look amazing. The game's graphics look amazing for how the maps are designed from coming from last year from the reveal of a showing off the game to now the year delay was very much worth it and you can guarantee that you know it was worth it but of course this whole video is unscripted um i'm talking from the time ahead but no i feel like based off those things i've stated halo will set the standard for how free-to-play multiplayer shooters should be. If you don't agree with me, that's fine, um, but as you see games like I've seen before, like Warzone, <clears throat> now Battlefield 2042 coming out, um, and the next Call of Duty coming out, but we all know that's not going to be as good as Modern Warfare. Um, we probably all know deep down that they should have released the next Modern Warfare to compete with Halo Infinite Battlefield 2042 to get the competition brewing because honestly for a person like me I personally love a competition like that I will support all three no matter what I'll support the devs what they were going for and what they want to promote I'm super excited for the next Modern Warfare to see what they're gonna do personally for me Halo Infinite is gonna be my bread and butter it will devote more of my time than any other game that it, uh, I will be playing from Battlefield 2042 and even into the next Modern Warfare. It's going to happen. Um, I personally love Halo. I played every single Halo known to man, um, even the bad ones, and I've loved every single one of them. I have, the, yeah, of course, we all have our criticisms and issues with the games, but personally for me, I love them all, no matter how they are, and I'll support every one of them as much as I can to the day the series ends. And I'm here for it. 343, if you're listening to this video, I applaud you for what you showed off, for what you've given us, and what the future will hold for Halo Infinite. I feel like with you guys switching to free to play was the best decision you guys could have done for this game and it will succeed further than what Halo 5 did and what Halo 4 did combined and you will see it. I hope the best wishes for you guys in the future. I hope everything will go well. Um, I'm here for you all the way 100% and if you guys have uh, what you thoughts about this video's topic feel free to comment down below. I'm always looking at my comments and if you want to contribute to this, uh, to what you think as well, comment down in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel for more Halo Infinite content coming in the future. I'm willing to, or I'm really going to deep dive in this game and give you guys as much content as I can for this game. And show off as much as I can for you guys for this game. From tips and tricks to guides to just general opinions of updates in the future to... Um, the general overviews and stuff but yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like if you liked it um, but like I say before subscribe to me for more Infinite content in the future hope you guys have a wonderful day stay safe out there peace